It started off as a normal day in Iraq. It was hot, humid, and very dusty. Colonel George was on a routine patrol along with his comrades. Suddenly, an improvised explosive device exploded near them. They were all hurled to the ground, and the wind was knocked out of them. Colonel George realized that the only medic on his team was knocked unconscious and had stopped breathing. The colonel, with his limited medical training, started CPR and first aid, but the injured medic did not respond. His blood oxygen level had fallen and he would die unless his breathing was restored. Colonel George remembered about the advanced ventilators developed with NASA technologies in the back of their armored personnel carrier. Those ventilators were developed for NASA to support astronaut crew health before, during, and after spaceflight by care providers without extensive medical training. NASA's partnership with Impact Instrumentation Inc. of West Cadwell, New Jersey resulted in this technologically advanced ventilators for use by astronauts and the public. Impact Instrumentation Inc.'s Univent 754 and Univent 731 series of ventilators that include EMB Plus and Eagle 2 combine small size and energy efficiency with ease of use features for operation by operators with minimal mechanical ventilation experience. These ventilators have been used in pre-hospital treatment, intensive care units, emergency rooms, and inter and intra-hospital transport. These ventilators use non-invasive sensors to monitor patient status and help patients to breathe by pushing oxygen mechanically through a patient's lungs. When the medevac bird arrived to help Colonel George, the injured medic's condition was stable, as Colonel George was able to use the ventilators in the carrier to save his life. The ventilators were still at work when the injured medic arrived at the hospital and was given intensive care. With Colonel George's quick thinking and help from NASA technology and medical help, the critically injured medic recovered from his injuries and returned home safely. Thank you, NASA.